I'm gonna just chill here. This is the perfect pillow. You know, sometimes at night when it's really nice outside, like actually hoodie weather, um, or sometimes shirt weather, I like to just chill out here, use Gohan as my pillow and look up at the stars. Makes me forget about the stresses of life sometimes. Are you hungry? Ow. Now that all the snow is melted, I can see all of the shoes that he's brought out and all of his toys. <laughs> this is where curling went. <sighs> Gotta put these in the wash. And then there's just a bunch of balls down there. What doing? <laughs> you want curling? All right, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're gonna be doing car day with the friends uh, because all of our cars are insured. And I think Shane headed down to the garage before us in his Mustang because he has some PPF that Angus is gonna do on his car. But also, I think I'm gonna bring the Supra out. Actually, no, it depends. If I bring this guy, I still don't really want this guy to go into the Supra just because his nails are sharp and he likes to stand on everything, including the center console. I mean, it'd be cool, but I think I'm just gonna wait until I get the interior PPF'd as well. It just makes it easier, so I don't have to go replacing things. But I also have to start disassembling the Celica to help get it prepped for wrap, so yeah. Today is full car day. Let's get it, or we'll see you at the garage. All right, we here. Where's the sun? It was so nice earlier. Brett got the Evo out. Give me a little rub, rub. <laughs> <laughs> Bros, I stepped in Gohan's shit, but it's probably because I have bad karma. Hello, Dougie. Hey, what up? How are you? How are you? Hey. hey. What's up, Larry? What's up, Angus? Hello, hello. It's too cold, he says. <laughs> I know. Uncle Mo's. Uncle Mo. Hey. Oh, so down. Sure. This kid's scared of this little pothole. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I gave. Hey. We are now trying to remove like some of the bus stain oh, on the PPF from the factory. Gotcha. But I just redo both of the mirror because they were done. Like PPF? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I told him he should get uh, window protection film. Yo, this thing costed 250 All I needed is was this. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. other Eddie. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Get in here, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey. But yeah, yeah, stuck through the back, and then I saw that. I was wondering, out. man. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> and then they just kept it going. <laughs> they probably would have had their own adventure, dude. Yeah. Oh, they managed to catch it because that guy stopped to pee. <laughs> so let's first step. We have tower brace. Now we're gonna this cannon intake from the original owner. The original owner. This is what he put on. Oh, okay. With VQ oh, motors, yeah. short ram intake. It's not very great on these vehicles because it's so, so much heat. Careful sensor. So it goes in there. Yo, Munchies is here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Jolly bees. <laughs> Look how many pineapple juices we got. Spicy chicken and family size spaghetti, which actually isn't available in the Philippines. And Peach mango pies. Let's go. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jelly Bees. Look at that detail in this painting. I tried to make it so there's a shadow that is made by the sword. But I think this mural is actually so dope. If you haven't seen the full painting video documentation of this art piece, you can actually see it right here. I'll put the link up. I wish that was in my house. Yeah, check out the skate I just picked up yesterday. It's a girl deck. And I'm really just playing around with a different size. The width of this one is 8.37. I mean, technically, the thicker the skateboard, the more landing area, right? Check out the grip tape I picked up for it. This is by Rip and Dip. But it's a cat flipping you off. Because we're going to be flipping off the skateboard. Lame. Pink grip tape. 
Dope. Since it's a girl deck, I'm gonna put a girl on there. And I'm putting it in a spot that'll be semi-protected, which is right under the wheel. We got Twerk and Bulma. And Kmar. I don't got my other deck here, so I can't put these on trucks or wheels yet, but. I'm trying to get rid of the window tint that's on right now. It's just been so long since this has been installed. It's really tough to get off, but I'm using the steamer. And you just hit the spot for maybe like 30, 40 seconds and it comes off pretty easy. With a brand new fresh blade, this is coming off so nicely. Alrighty. Guys finishing up. Mm, looks sweet. <laughs> And that looks sweet. <laughs> Finally. I think I'm gonna tackle one of these fenders. But also, maybe take off the side skirts. Oh shiz, I forgot you tied this. <laughs> Okay, we good, we good. <laughs> you just chilling in there. Damn, okay. Alright, hold on. Thinks we're going for a ride. Maybe he just misses Gohan. Bad boy! You're the bad boy! <laughs> just kidding. Are you cool, homie? So on the last bolt, of course, I accidentally stripped it. So now I can't even get a hold of it. Grab your Dremel. I'm just gonna cut straight. You definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> it should be good. Both sides are off. That's it for the kit. Still don't know what happened to the rear bumper. I'll have to ask the previous owner about this. It was painted the same Spectre Blue. That's the OEM factory color from Toyota. But they put this, I don't know what it is on top of it. They sprayed it over with something. And I think you can actually chip that away, but uh, we'll figure that out. The Celica at its most basic form, minus the hood. I'm gonna try and undent some of the places on the Celica that I see dents. And whatever I can do to the best of my ability and with whatever tools I got. Um, but I might actually invite my friend who's an actual dent removal dude. Um, to do this for me before we start on the wrap. Like you see on this side, might have to get rid of that and uh, sand off some of the surface rust just so it doesn't spread. And then on this side, it's actually fairly decent. So maybe we can start with a driver's side fender piece. We got a full roll of Kelly Green wrap. So there's like 75 feet of this stuff. Like, guys, this is the most Kelly Green wrap I've ever ordered in my life. Oh, believe it or not, this roll alone has the ability to wrap both the Celica and the E36 because they're gonna have the same color theme as my old FRS color theme and the Sound XB right now. So we're not actually gonna be wrapping all of it in Kelly Green. The top half is gonna be gloss black. Just imagine this, but all over that. 
I've never seen a green celica before, actually. I mean, you can Google it and you'll definitely see some, but uh, not in the city. If you guys aren't aware, my plan is to have a full fleet of Kelly green cars. Uh, minus the FRS, which is just gonna be my gold trophy, because that's the one that really got me into this car game in the first place. Okay, I think that's it for now. I'm getting hungry. Let's go have some more Jollibees if there's still some left. Yeah. I didn't check. I didn't pop it in properly. Oh. So the whole entire time I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was another under tray. Yeah, me too. I was, like, I was like, already? I was yeah. catching up to you, and all, all of a sudden I heard, <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, no. All right, we back, guys. I got this packaging from our friend down in Hawaii, Blaine who actually owns a really sweet VIP Lexus. <laughs> and I actually got him to send this to us because the first time he sent us these goodies, um, we ate the snacks in one sitting. Aloha, birdie. Hope all is well. Here's another care package for me. Got you some higher grade Kona coffee. Oh my goodness. First off, taste of Kona coffee, if it's made well, is probably one of my most favorite tastes of coffee ever. So Hawaii coffee, if it's made good. I'm really gonna try my best to learn how to make a proper cup of coffee. Uh, Kona coffee. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> you have eye boogers. I want to see what else is in this bag. Give me one second, okay? I hope the cookies don't get stale. Last time, the goods took over a month to reach you. Dude, we still ate everything in that box that you sent. Anyway, stay safe and stay healthy. Keep doing you and keep in touch. Blaine, thank you so much for this care package. Guys, check out what's in this box. So yeah, we got the Kona coffee and then these. This beef jerky is so good. It's like really thin slices. It's a very, very light texture. And he gave us a few bays of that stuff. Oh my. No, 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 no. Oh, motherfucker. These must be the cookies he was talking about. Oh, let's see. What? Mm, go home and take a cookie. And then just regular dry roasted macadamia nuts. Go on, and toasted coconut candies. Mmm. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end this video, guys. It was a nice first official car day with a gang, just because everyone insured their cars, and we actually cruised together for the first time in like four or five months, ever since we all put our cars away for winter. I'm getting to it, okay? This kid really wants me to let him out. <laughs> There's two words in this house I try to avoid, and they start with O and W. <laughs> Go on, sayonara. Sayonara. <gasps> Thanks. Just the beginning of summer, and this year we promise to really get our money's worth in all of our cars. <laughs> but also try and make it a goal to get our worth in money. A majority of people don't really like to think highly of themselves, which is, I mean, a mediocre way of thinking. But how I look at it is, if you guys set your standards higher than you think you can reach, then the only person you'll ever have to worry about impressing is yourself. It's the tiniest little worry, but it's a good motivational problem that pushes you to, well, problem solve and figure things out, especially on your own. And wherever you're kind of lacking in areas in your life, that's where you hope that your close-knit circle of friends uh, are able to fill in those voids. That way, everyone's helping everybody succeed in life. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Did someone order pizza? I wish. I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. I was like, I actually went to it. Oh, perfect. This guy's playing some FF7. This is the sauce. Oh, so nostalgic. It's time. Alright, go ahead.